We'll get started in just a sec. Just give people another another minute or two to join. I'll keep dropping the meeting minutes in the chat. Okay, well, I think it's three minutes after, so let's let's go ahead and and get started. So, welcome to the Chaos Ospo Metrics Working Group meeting for Thursday, August twenty second. We are under the Chaos Code of Conduct, so please uh, be kind and abide by abide by our Code of Conduct. Not that that's really ever an issue. I, I feel like people are pretty pretty good about it here in the lovely Chaos community. Um, like I said a few minutes ago, the agenda is looking pretty light. So if you have anything at all that you want to talk about, just go ahead and add it, add it here. Replace one of these with with your agenda item. Um, if not, I think it's going to be a a relatively short meeting. Um, I do think we have we have a couple of people on the call that I'm not sure have been on the call before. And I don't want to put pressure on people to introduce themselves, but I would say that uh, Sarah and Alvin, if you'd like to introduce yourselves, um, that would be that would be great. If not, no pressure. That's that's totally cool too. Um, I am Sarah. I work with Remy, and I was given access to this calendar and told to attend some meetings, so I'm here. Uh, I don't know if this is actually one that I was supposed to attend, so my apologies if I misunderstood. No, you're absolutely, sorry, you're absolutely welcome, Sarah. We, uh, Remy often attends this meeting, so I suspect that this is probably one of the ones that uh, he wanted you to attend. We're, we're big Remy fans on, on the call here, so um, yeah, so I think you're, I think you're absolutely, absolutely in the right place. Great, thank um, you. <laughs> yeah, so welcome. Uh, anyone else want to introduce themselves? Hello. Hey, everyone. My name is Alvin. I'm listening to the project meeting, actually. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I've been in the chaos uh, group for a while. No, I'm quite confused, actually. I'm not so sure if I'm in the project meeting or if I'm not. Well, welcome, Alvin. And so it's not just the new people introducing themselves. I'm I'm Don Foster. I am one of the one of the co-chairs for the the OSPO uh, working group. I I have quite a bit of experience working in OSPOs, most recently in VMware's open source program office, um, up until a year and a half or so ago. And then I'm I'm currently working on um, data science from within the within the chaos project. So I'm no longer in the in the corporate world, but I do a lot of a, a lot of chaos work that's uh, relevant to uh, the work that you all do in, in OSPOs. Awesome. Anybody nice, else? Nice. Glad to be yeah. here. Yeah, welcome. Uh, anyone else on the, any of the other regulars want to introduce yourselves just so that it's... Uh... Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll jump in and say, hello, I'm Gary White. I am principal engineer at Verizon's uh, open source program office. I participate mainly in the OSPO working group because I find that our conversations between OSPOs, particularly as we look at corporate versus university versus government, um, are fascinating and we find a lot of ways to like unify the work that we do together. And one of the ways that I'm doing that and it comes up in a lot of meetings that I'm in these days is in open source viability. So if you have questions about open source viability or you want to talk about it, um, I would be happy to be a part of that conversation. And I also co-chair this meeting because I'm here all the time with Don. I'll go next if that's okay. So I'm, I'm Kevin Lombard. I'm a professor at Creighton University. Uh, I've been with Chaos for a while. Uh, I kind of jump around all the meetings. This isn't one I I have been attending lately, uh, but I uh, I have attended it in the past. I'd like to attend it more in the future. Well, welcome back, Kevin. And I'll just say hi. I'm the community manager. I'm Elizabeth. So if anybody has any questions about chaos or can't find what they're looking for, 
just send me a message on Slack. And if you're not in Slack and you need to be in Slack, I can help you with that too. So happy to answer any questions or, or point in the right direction. I can go next. Uh, I'm Damian uh, Vicino. I uh, in the OSPO in Datadog. Um, I showed it just a few, two months ago, maybe. Uh, Okay, um, we'll go ahead and, and get started. Uh, the first um, the first thing we have on the agenda is something that that I added to the agenda. So we have we have this practitioner guide series, which is really designed. The, the practitioner, the whole series is designed for people who are relatively new to open source and especially relatively new to um, using data about open source projects to make improvements. So we have previously published guides on how to improve responsiveness, contributor sustainability, and organizational participation, um, along with an introduction guide. So we have, um, we've had several guides that have already been published. This is the next one in the series. And I tend to bring them into the OSPO working group because the folks that run OSPO tend to provide mentoring and guidance and feedback to a lot of different open source projects within their organization. So uh, they tend to be used to working with people who are relatively new to open source to help them understand things. Um, so I usually try to get feedback from uh, you know at least a couple of people in OSPOs on on each of these each of these guides. In particular, I would really really like some feedback on the security guide because I. I don't have a deep background in security. I've been doing the open source thing for a really, really long time. And I have a pretty good handle on some of the best practices for, for open source projects relative to security. But um, but that's kind of where my, my expertise stops. So again, these, these practitioner guides are really designed to be for, for beginners. But I would... Um, and I'm not going to like read through this guide. This is, you know, it's it has several sections. It has a section on identifying trends using some chaos metrics. It has a section on diagnosis. So how do you how do you look at these metrics to find things that that might need to be addressed? Um, gathering additional data, so some additional metrics and and ways to look at things. And then this is this is really the the magic of the guides is the step four and and making improvements. So this is this is how to improve your open source project relative to the topic. And then again, monitoring results and making this an, an iterative process. Um, so I would encourage you to have a look, maybe provide some feedback on the on the doc. That would be that would be great. Any questions on this document or the practitioner guides in general? I didn't read this one yet, but the others are great. Thanks. Oh, oh good. I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoy them. And we did make them, um, you know, so they're MIT licensed, like all of the all of the other stuff that that Chaos does. But you know, one of the reasons that I thought that was particularly important um, for the guides is that that OSPOs can just work that repo, and you can customize it to add some things that are maybe maybe specific for your OSPO. So we do encourage people to not just not just use the the ones that are on the chaos website, but um, you know take you can take the repo and you can you know make additions, customizations, add stuff to them for for your organization, whatever you need to do to make them easier for your your teams to use. Any other questions? Okay. Well, I was hoping that while I talked, someone else would add add some agenda agenda items because if not, this is going to be a really, uh, really quick meeting. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I will go through the reminders. So, um, the the general channel on Slack has lots of um, newsworthy going on uh, that you can you can have a look at you can share people talk about conference talks things and there's a um, in the general channel there's also at the top 
a, a comms link where you can request promotion of things that you're working on that are related to chaos. So um, you can suggest blog posts, you can suggest items for the newsletter, you can suggest things that you want us to promote on our social channels. So, so those are some things that, um, that you can do there. Um, I'm not sure who added this one, Esbamarama. Um, in September, it's virtual and in Denver. I don't know if anybody knows any more about that or wants to talk about it. Okay. Um, LF Member Summit, the CFP deadline is August 30th. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the LF Member Summit, it is an invite only event for LF members. Um, but the way that you can go, uh, easiest way to get a ticket to go to the LF Member Summit is to get a talk accepted, uh, because then, then you can go regardless of who you are. So the CFP deadline is the end of the month. So I would encourage you to submit your OSPO related talks. I think we, Gary and a, a couple of us just submitted one about um, viability. So hopefully that gets accepted. And then we're also looking for podcast ideas and feedback. So we have this email. Um, if you want to talk about something interesting your OSPO is doing, um, if you have suggestions for something interesting that you've seen someone else doing that you think we should cover on the podcast, I would encourage you to um, send it to this the email address podcast at chaos.community. Um, okay, someone added the blog post. Yeah, I did. I just thought it might be of interest to this group. Um, it was uh, the workshop. It's a summary of the workshop that Georg and Stephanie did after the OSPOs for Good conference at the UN. So it's just kind of um, a wrap up. It's a pretty easy read. Lots of photos. So yeah, I just thought I'd drop it in here for y'all. Yeah, thank you. I heard really good things about this event and I had a, um, yeah. I had a lot of, of missing out moments as I was uh, reading through various various social media uh, because it did look like a really a really good event. Um, anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? The summer slump after some time off, huh? Yeah, it's, it's pretty common. Honestly, a lot of the meetings, uh, the, the attendance for this one's actually actually pretty good um, for for summer. So usually like, you know, during during the fall when people are um, when, you know, half people aren't out on holiday and the weather's not nice, we get a lot more, a lot more. <laughs> so the weather That's when we lure them in. Yeah, exactly. So it's yeah, August. So many people are so many people are out. Um, it's not uncommon for uh, for the meetings and the agendas to be a little bit light. Uh, speaking of which, I will be um, I will be on holiday for the next meeting on the fifth. Will you be around, Gary, to run that one? Uh, the next one on the fifth. Let um, me look. Uh, I think I might not be because I have a doctor appointment. Let me check my schedule. Okay. Um, I will get back to you. I think that might not work because I have an appointment that overlaps. Okay. We'll get back to me and we'll, we'll just recruit someone else. All right, cool. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Um, and we do have the working group OSPO uh, Slack channel. So if things come up between meetings, don't hesitate to you know post about something that you think the rest of us would be interested in or, or chat about anything, anything you find relevant. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. So, uh, so this is the first one back. Uh, would, it be, would it be possible to talk a little bit about what we see future meetings kind of including? Like, uh, is there something that this group is gonna be working on going forward? Are there uh, a couple of concerns, are there concerns we wanna talk about? Are, are there artifacts that we're building? Uh, do we know those things or, or, uh, or, or are the meetings kind of more informal? 
Yeah, so these meetings tend to be more um, discussion based. So we, uh, you know, unlike, for example, the metrics uh, development working group, like we don't typically develop metrics out of these. But, you know, occasionally we do have some some big topics that get talked about uh, quite a lot. So, um, for example, when Gary was working on the, the viability metrics models, we talked about those a lot in, in this group um, because that was just something that, you know, that someone was someone was working on. We do we do talk about the practitioner guides um, and, you know, and sometimes if people have questions about them and. Uh, want to provide additional feedback. We talk about that occasionally in these meetings. And, you know, honestly, it's it's usually, you know, thinking about past agenda items, it's generally something that someone in one of the OSPOs is, is working on that they that they want to talk about. So there have been several times that uh, the mic folks in the Microsoft OSPO have talked about some of the work that that they do um, around metrics and measuring and funding of open source projects. So we've had a lot of discussions around that. Uh, Remy and team are doing some really interesting things uh, within the within the US government. And they, in particular, some interesting ways of classifying projects. So they've we've had a couple of discussions about the work that that Remy and his team have been doing um, at recent you know, in recent OSPO working group meetings. And so they, they tend to be, they tend to be things like, like that. Did that answer your question, Gavin? Okay. So what I'm, what I'm hearing is in, in general, just come and uh, be ready to discuss uh, things of interest to uh, people on this call, maybe come with an idea for if there's something you want to talk about, put it on the agenda. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I usually try to, uh, Gary and I usually try to post a reminder, you know, a day or two before the meeting in, in Slack so that people can think about it and add things, add things to the agenda. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, hello. I have a question. So, okay. Uh, I was in the group. I started a group for long open source projects, but it was all beginners. And after that, I kind of fell off, or I kind of fell off. Let me blame it on myself. So, and I was so interested in open source, open source. But quite frankly, prior to this meeting, I was so close to giving up on tech and, and all that. So, what else can I do since I want to bring my foot in terms of this meeting? What can I do, or where can I work on to? What I'm trying to do, I don't have. The, Sorry, Alvin, you're, you're sorry, Alvin, you just you just cut out a little bit and we didn't hear what you said. Oh, where did I lose you? Um, just after you you said something about you know wanting to find things to work on. Oh yeah, so uh I'm a student and I don't have quite the direction. And here, unfortunately, I, I, we are not given what to do. We are just usually fed theory, but the theory we also fed on is not sufficient. You just told we are, okay, what happens in our universities is that we are given what the material we are given is for a very long time ago. So we are not updated on the data sciences that is happening currently, the cybersecurity. You have to go uh, take the extra step to look for all that. And quite frankly, I'm falling quite behind, but I want to be at par with everyone else, especially in the job market, because I'm in uni and I'm soon supposed to be out there looking, uh, trying to find something to do. What no, the question is, what direction, what do I need to do? What exactly do I need to do projects, yada, 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 for me to find the sense of direction of open source? Yeah, that's my question. Okay, so so the question is how to find things to work on within, within open source so you can better build your skill set. Yes, probably get a job, yeah. Okay. Um, I would say there are several things within within the chaos community that are are things that can be worked on right now. So we we do have a data science working group meeting, which is in the process of moving to Tuesdays every other week. Um, and we're just starting to work on some some data science projects within that group. So that might be something that that's interesting to you. I would say have a have a look at the um, maybe the 
agendas for the past or the you know meeting minutes or videos for the past couple of meetings and see if those are something that are interesting for you. Um, Peculiar, who's also on this call, has been working on some some chaos education videos, which many of them are you know not just chaos related but also uh, open source related and we're definitely looking for more more contributions around the education videos. I don't know peculiar if you want to talk about that for just a sec. I'm not sure if peculiar oh there we go. Yeah me hi, hi everyone. Sorry I, I didn't introduce myself earlier. I'm peculiar and working on uh chaos of uh, education projects. Yes, for education projects, we we is currently ongoing, and we need more contributors. Just like it's all about content, right? So you just be able to, I mean, passing no knowledge about anything open source to someone else, then you are welcome to write a script and then create a slide presentation and record a video. The video is just to teach newcomers or to teach those you know um, new to open source about a topic on open source how to come in how to benefit how to create a career in open source so we have a whole lot of um topics that you can look at for the education project so, uh, that way. thank you thanks peculiar um, another thing is, you know, you may already be engaged in some of the the Chaos Africa channels, but they're also doing a lot of a lot of work to contribute to the Chaos community. So that might be another another place to start. I don't know, Elizabeth, if you have anything you want to add. I would just add, um, <clears throat> if you, Alvin, if you reach out to someone named Mary Bless, who's also in Chaos Africa, she runs a program called Tour Guides which is really designed to help you find your niche here and to find your, find your people within chaos. So I would also reach out to her as well. Awesome, thanks. Thank you. Okay, thanks everybody. So unless anybody else has any additional topics, I think we're probably probably done for the for the meeting and uh, hopefully these will pick back up uh, a little bit uh, when more people are back from from summer holidays. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here and enjoy your 30 minutes back. See you later. Bye. Bye.